pacemakers have been a major advance in the management of heart conditions. We use pacemakers as a general rule to prevent slow rhythms. Now some heart rhythm problems are slow and that's all they are. And in those patients, placing a pacemaker, which involves wires that travel through the bloodstream to the heart, to a small electronic box that runs on batteries that's underneath the skin and entirely inside, is curative effectively for their condition. They can return to a normal life, and except for having to have routine checks of their pacemaker, they are as if the problem had never occurred. But there's a second group of people who also receive pacemakers, and they're somewhat more complicated. It's not unusual to have a patient who has a rapid heart rhythm, often a rapid heart rhythm called atrial fibrillation, a rhythm that would normally be a problem because it makes the heart go too fast. But as a consequence of the treatment and the medications that we need to use to treat that rapid rhythm, the patient's heart rate may at times drop too slowly. And we're confronted with a problem. Either we don't treat the rapid rhythm and leave the patient to have symptoms from the rapid rhythm, or we use the medicines we need to treat the rapid rhythm successfully and accept that the pulse is too slow and then use a pacemaker to alleviate the slow rhythm. And with this, people can live a wonderful life. In addition, the pacemaker provides additional information in those patients because it monitors the heart rhythm 24 hours a day. So when a patient receives a pacemaker for a heart rhythm problem, they also have provided a tool that their physicians can use to manage them day to day and week to week.